hello everyone uh welcome back i know it's been a while since i made a video i know it's been a lot going on you know pandemic stuff i'm here today and today obviously saw by the title it's talking about how i lost 60 pounds in the pandemic i just wanted to come and talk to you guys about what i did what was the process and what that looks like in the future for you or anybody else you know the first thing i did was um I started to walk okay in the beginning of the pandemic i used to walk because i didn't want to be in the house and i used to walk at least for an hour um up and down my neighborhood across you know where i could walk because uh, i really couldn't do anything else but i just used to walk and also to clear your mind because um when you stay stagnant your mind doesn't get moving so remember that just walk just go outside even though it's cold, just put what you got on that's warm and then go just start walking for real, for real. All right, so the next thing I did was um, after I saw that that wasn't getting me the results that I really wanted because um, I had previously had a kid. Um, he's two years old now and I still had not been able to push that pregnancy weight off. Um, um, just the backstory. Um, like I said, he's two years old. When I had him, um, right after I had him, I was two, 200 pounds. And then I stayed at once 180 something for uh, up until we got here. Um, yeah, I stayed at 180 something for until he turned two, and which was this September. So um, I was like, okay, this gotta come off. I can't do this no more. This, I just. I've never been that heavy in my life, okay? I always stayed around the range of around, um, I want to say 140, 150, something like that, you know, which is fine for me now. But today, I will say, I can testify and say that I am 126 pounds. Yes. Now, I, that wasn't my intention to get this small. Let me just be honest here. It literally just happened. Um, as I started taking better care of myself through the pandemic. Um, okay, so another thing that I started to do is eat better. Um, I started to, I took meat out of my diet completely. First, I did it gradually. Um, I did not do this suddenly at all. This was gradual to the fullest, okay? Because I was eating meat in the beginning of the pandemic. Um, and then towards the middle of it, I decided to not eat chicken or beef. And I just did chick, um, just did fish, and then I cut out fish altogether. And I did an alkaline diet for a while. And the alkaline diet is where I really started to transform because it actually teaches you how to eat and when to eat. Um, so I'll just get into that right now. So um, what they taught me was, and I was doing alkaline diet through Dr. Sabi. So what they taught me was um, in the mornings you're supposed to detox um detox with the juice i can actually i'll do another video and i'll give you guys different types of um juice recipes um and why you should do certain juices with certain vegetables and what you shouldn't do and why you shouldn't do it okay um and so from you should do your morning detox from 7 to 11 um and you should make enough juice to last you from 7 to 11 that's at least about four cups of juice. I'm telling you, it cleans you out, okay? You thought you didn't have digestive issues or you thought you had stomach problems or you wait till you start mo moving and grooving, okay? Moving and grooving. And so while you're walking and you're doing all of this, you might feel a little lightheaded, feel a little sick because all that stuff is coming out of you. But just keep going, okay? It's worth it. Um, and then for lunch, for lunch, you want to do, um, if you still do eat meat, you want to do your meat. If you're a pescatarian, you know, you do your fish, um, which is fine if that's what's for you. You know, you know, that's not for me. And I wanted the results I wanted, and I really wanted to just be clean. Um, so that's why I stopped eating meat. But if you're not that way, that's okay. You know, this ain't like, that's ain't your life, and that's okay. That's, ain't, that's not your business, and that's my business. <laughs> so, um... The best time for anybody to eat meat, and I don't recommend eating meat every day. I would recommend eating meat um, 
once a week um, because it's not really good for your digestive system. Um, it doesn't di digest very well. Now, you may think, um, I would just do your own research. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, a nutritionist um, by any right uh, or education-wise, but I am an amateur at this, and I just like to be healthy for myself. All right. Um, for dinner time, I would recommend doing a rice bowl or a salad because it's easier on your digestive system. It does take a, a while for meat to process and dairy as well to process. I would stay together. I would stay away from dairy altogether. Um, I've been actually because I've stayed away from or tried my best to stay away from dairy as much as possible. Um, my skin has cleared up. Um, it has been like. I had a major breakout because of sugar and dairy of just like I want to say a couple of weeks ago because every every week is a new process I don't try to force myself to um, any hard lines you know every day is a new day every day is a new perspective you learn something you should learn something new every day and we'll do it because you want to be healthy not because you want to just drop all the pounds okay peace and love to you guys and wellness and wholeness and and blessings and balance and i pray that you guys um find this helpful um i love you guys and make sure that you like and subscribe this video okay and then go watch my other one and i'll see y'all later bye